guys, this is Jemmy and today we're going to be looking at the newest power that's going to be added to the game with the War of the Light DLC and that is going to be Rage. This is going to show the skills and uh, combos if there is any for these. So we'll just start off at the first tree which is going to be Anger. So right off the bat, specializing in this tree grants you 5% critical attack damage as well as 35 health. In the tank roll, your damage is reduced by 20%, however you gain a dominance increase by 100%. And whenever you use any superpowers, your health is increased by 0.6 per point of dominance you have. And that also depends on how many enemies are near you. And still within the tank roll, skills that you use in the anger tree will also generate aggro. And the last thing to note is that you'll gain plus 3 perception just to see any enemies nearby that are in stealth. So if you're confused on how the 0.6 times your dominance times any adds works, then we'll go ahead and show a little um, simplified version of that math. So let's pretend that your character's dominance is 50 and your character's current health is 100. So how that math would work is that you would take your dominance, which is 50, times it by 0.6, giving you a 30 health increase. But that doesn't stop there. At that point, you would consider how many ads are near you. So let's just pretend seven ads are next to you. So you would multiply that 30 health increase by how many ads are near you, meaning here right now it's going to be seven that gives you a health increase of 210 so at that point that's your increase so 210 plus your current health which is 100 gives you 310 health for using a anger skill in tank roll so there's that i hope it gave you a better understanding on how the math actually works for the rage tank buff now this buff can be stacked on top of each other where you could potentially double, triple, even quadruple your HP buff just by continually using anger skills on top of each other. So in essence, to answer what you guys are already thinking, yes, you could potentially have limitless HP um, if you have a really awesome rage rotation as well as a energizer bunny controller. So let's take a look at the skills from the anger tree. The first one we'll start off with is Rage Blast, which is just um, a concentrated energy blast that damages and knocks down your enemies. You will receive equal health to a portion of that damage dealt. The next skill is called Channeling Hate, where it's vulnerable to interrupt, but it's a pure beam of hate on a single target damaging and stunning them you'll receive healing equal to a portion of the damage dealt. The next skill is called Relentless Anger, where your enemies are damaged equal to a portion of your rage combos as well as weapon damage. Relentless Anger also heals back the damage you have taken for 8 seconds, but after it will cause a rage crash, damaging you for all the healing you've received from the skill. To avoid that, you could use a rage combo or other skills that negate rage crash. Violence is an AoE that damages and knocks down nearby enemies. At that point, you have an aura around you that does might damage. As you see, those clearly are going off right now. There is another way you can use violence. Upon executing the skill, you could combo with hold melee that will change the aura into a precision dot damage attack. Also note that Violence is another skill that you could use to reduce the damage caused from Rage Crash. Mangle is our first supercharge on the Anger Tree. It costs 35% and it is a 360 degree AoE that damages and knocks down all nearby enemies. It grants you an immunity against crowd control effects while reducing the enemy's resistance to it so that the knockdown from Mangle will be more effective. Eviscerating Chain is a single target skill that damages and pulls an enemy towards you. If the target's health is below 35%, it will deal extra damage. This skill can be comboed by Hold Melee to execute the skill Eviscerate that damages, stuns, and juggles your enemy. Also note that Eviscerating Chain can be used to nullify Rage Crash. 
The second supercharge is called the Zerk that takes 50% of your supercharge bar. This allows any damage you deal to be dealt again as an AoE. That does apply for weapon damage as well, but the damage dealt back will be as might damage. Without Mercy is an area of effect around you. Similar to Fire's Backdraft, any enemies caught in the AoE will take damage, be knocked down while being pulled to the center. This skill will also heal you equal to the portion of damage dealt. Spin around with Lacerate as you damage and knock down all nearby enemies. This skill can also be comboed by performing action Hold Melee immediately after executing the skill for a precision version of Lacerate. Also note that Lacerate can be used to reduce the damage of Rage Crash. Ferocity is a buff that increases precision and resistance to control effects. In Tank Roll, this resistance buff is given to the entire raid party. Outrage is a Conus AoE that damages and stuns enemies. And if your health is below 50%, Outrage will do more damage. This skill can be comboed by Hold Melee to perform the skill Extra Measure, which is another lunge that damages and knocks down all nearby enemies. Note that Outrage can be used to ignore Rage Crash. Scaling Eruption is a wide area of effect that damages all enemies in its range. By immediately holding melee after executing the skill, a precision version of Galing Eruption can be placed instead of the Might. This skill inflicts Plasma Burn that makes enemies more susceptible to plasma-like attacks. Note that Galing Eruption can also be used to reduce damage from Rage Crash. So those were all the skills for the Anger Tree, and now we'll go over to the Punishment Tree. Now for this tree, you'll get 1% critical attack chance plus 25 health. Now in Tank Roll, you still have that Rage buff where all of your damage that you do is penalized by 20% while the Dominance is increased by 100. You still get that um, Rage Power buff increase to where that math that we did earlier on where 0.6 of your max dominance times each enemy near you uh, will be applied to your health is still there. But for the Punishment Tree, you do not have that plus 3 perception that you had for the Anger Tree. The first skill on the Punishment Tree is called Rage Bringer, where you basically send out a Rage Energy that is supposed to be a pull, uh, dragging the enemy towards you. You receive healing equal to the portion of damage dealt. Rage Bringer is also supposed to be a Konus pull affecting nearby enemies as well. Revenge is the next skill, where you do a lunge that uh, damages and knocks your enemies down. This can also be comboed by holding melee to execute the skill Revenge Spin, where you continually lunge your enemies, damaging and knocking them down. Also note that Revenge can be used to ignore the damage from Rage Crash. Severe Punishment is a buff. For 8 seconds, you are healed back for all the damage you have taken, but after, it will cause a Rage Crash. While Severe Punishment is active, you will gain 10% control resistance as well as 10% health. So to fully take advantage of Severe Punishment, you want to prevent the Rage Crash by using skills that either reduces or ignores the damage. For Remorseless Recovery, any damage you do either from your weapon or Rage combos, a portion of that damage dealt will be converted to a healing back to you. Also note that Remorseless Recovery reduces the effect of Rage Crash. Vindictive is a supercharge that heals you for all the damage you receive. And during this time, you are immune to Rage Crash. This supercharge also has a toggle concept to it where you are able to turn it off and on. Its consumption rate is 7.5% per second.
Iyer is a buff that breaks you from crowd control as well as instantly healing yourself. In tank roll, when using Iyer, it will give a debuff immunity to your entire raid group. The next supercharge is called Infuriate, where it buffs you and three other members, increasing their critical chance and damage. In addition to receiving healing equal to a portion of the damage dealt from your teammates. On the left hand side, you'll be able to see the current effects for Infuriate if you would like to see those. It lasts for 8 seconds. Frenzy is a Conus AoE that damages, knocks down, and lowers your enemy's resistance to control effects. Frenzy, when used on a target inflicted with Plasma Burn, will take additional damage. Thus, Frenzy would be paired nicely with Galing Eruption. Frenzy also has a combo. By tapping melee five times after executing the skill, you are able to perform the combo that allows you to attack faster. Dreadful Blast affects multiple targets, damaging and knocking them down. This also deals additional damage to enemies inflicted with Plasma Burn. Thus, would be best utilized after a skill that inflicts a Plasma Burn, like Galing Eruption. Dreadful Blast can be comboed by holding the range button after executing the skill to perform the attack Dreadful Explosion that continues to attack your enemies at range. Note that Dreadful Blast can be used to ignore Rage Crash. For Plasma Wretch, it is a Conus AoE that places a damage over time on your enemies. This skill, like Galing Eruption, also inflicts Plasma Burn. Thus, would be best followed up with a Dreadful Blast or Frenzy that could take advantage of this Plasma Burn. Note that Plasma Wretch can also be used to ignore Rage Crash. So Rage does come with a shield uh, called Redirected Rage and it ignores incoming damage. Now it says here that some damage may be reflected. So not all, but maybe some. Now the percentage of that is not noted on the tooltip. So the last and final skill on the punishment tree is called Bloodlust, which increases your precision and critical strike chance for you and three others. And also note for this skill, Bloodlust, you can use it to significantly reduce the effects of Rage Crash. So if you look to your left hand side, you'll see the current effects for Bloodlust. You get 45 precision, 10% critical ability attack chance, and 10% critical weapon attack chance for 12 seconds, and a 50% damage bonus to yourself for 5 seconds. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing this Rage demo. This was more for anyone who uh, didn't see the other videos or just didn't have access to the test server like my PS3 and PS4 players out there. Um, just to give a more in-depth look at Rage and actually see all of the skills and what it's capable of. And if you want to get your loadout figured out right now, if you're planning to change, then you can go ahead and do so. Now if you guys missed the last video that we updated, we did go ahead and cover Saint Walker as well as Atrocitus. So I'll go ahead and link Saint Walker here in the middle for you so that you could just simply click on that. If you want to stay updated with more videos that we post as soon as we post them, you could go ahead and subscribe with the link right on top. Find me on other forms of social media such as Twitter and Facebook and more with all the convenient links listed in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed and there will be more to come and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye!